Hello, welcome to my Dare to Win save with Hereford. Uh, we're just coming up to Season 4. We're still in the Valorama National, unfortunately. Um, we, we just missed out on the playoffs last season, but we did win the FA Trophy. Um, so yeah, it, it's on the up. We're, um, I'm going to do the season review for last season. Um, and then we'll... Uh, get through the f friendlies and I'll come back and do a transfer special. This is the era for Dare to Win season review, 24-25 um, season. Uh, so we are the FA Trophy winners. Um, i got to keep saying that, haven't I? Why wouldn't I? New arrivals. Oh, he's going to jump in now. So new arrivals. Uh, star signing was up here. Uh, we, we got him on a free from Leicester. He's one of the players they let go. 45 appearances, three goals, one assist. Um, 7.23, can't really argue with that, can you, eh? Very pleased with the deal. Um, he came on a free. He came on a free. Um, if I can get 75k for him now, <laughs> why not? Kelly, uh, again, another one we signed, was released um, from Liverpool on a free. 35 appearances, mainly down to the fact that he was so young. I didn't expect him to be quite as prominent a first-team player as he was. Um 35 appearances, 2 goals, 7 assists. Phoenix Patterson uh, brought him uh, on, well, I didn't buy him, free transfer um, mid season, second half of the season. And yeah, again, I expected him to uh, be just be cover for McKendy, but he soon showed me that he was the better player. Uh, got injured towards the end of the season, or he'd have had a bit more on here. Um, Ogungbo. Been happy with him and again free signings. You can see a lot of these are players that were released by their parent clubs. Um, yeah, it, it's been good. Yeah, it, it's been a good season. Um, got a few now that want to go. Um, that's fine. We we just can't um, keep our promises, uh, and they're made in the best of best intentions, but. Yeah, they just, uh, I can't get training facilities improved. So we're losing players. And that's how it's going to be, I'm afraid, at this level. Um, we finished just outside the playoffs then, 72 points. Uh, we had a good season. It doesn't, when you think we're meant to be finishing mid-table at best, um, we were up here most of the season. And at one stage, I thought I was going to be in a three-way battle with Wrexham and Colchester. These were planned to finish first and second, by the way, so uh, they got that right this time. Best Van Rama National League win, 6-2 Scarborough. Um, match to remember, 2-1 Barnet. Um, and yeah, goal of the season, Thorpey, uh, was a good goal. I can't remember it, to be honest, but I know he, he, he doesn't score many, and when he does, they are, their world is, so it was a good goal. Uh, club reputation hasn't really changed this season. Um, I'm surprised. I thought it might move a little bit. No new sponsorship deals, but everything's going up financially. Okay, we're making money. Um, I'll show you that hopefully in a minute. 30,000 in um, shirt sales, 534 shirts sold, and Onyeka is the main guy. Then Patterson, who's come in at the end of the season, Thorpe McKendy and Broadbent. So Onyeka's going. Um, Broadbent wanted to go. But I said, if that's the case, go on then. And then he's actually given me another, a bit longer to um, keep my promises. So this is how we lined up most of the season. Ajeri and Goal, 7.07. .07. Then you've got Sears up here. Ung Ug I struggle with this all the time. Ogungbo, got to put my teeth back in. Um, Boyabu. Um, they were all sevens, but the end of the season's been a nightmare. Smith. Um, He's a bit lucky to get in there. He hasn't really been a main starter or good enough to be in a team, to be honest. So, But this is a formation we played for a big chunk mid-season before it all went fitness-wise. Um, yeah, skyward. Kelly and Broadbent centre midfield. Patterson playing in behind the front two. And McKendy and Martin up front. Um, that was mainly due to Onyeka didn't get fit until like the last quarter of the season okay so the accolades i won one manager of the month for september we, we absolutely started on fire blew everything away um so yeah you got player of the season up higher not surprised at that young player of the season up higher signing of the season up higher goal of the season was elliot thorpe top goal scorer john martin 
um, hot and cold. He'd score a lot. He scored three on his debut, if you remember. Um, and then he wouldn't score a lot for a little while, but he scored in the final, which got us on our way. Uh, Geraint McKendy, most assists with 14. I expected more from him, to be honest. John Martin, most player of the match awards. Um, highest average rating was a pyre and most passes completed a pyre. And record breakers, McKendy with the assists. Ajiri with the clean sheets. He's been absolutely fantastic this season. What a sign in he was last season as a backup. Um, John Martin, most man of the match awards the record and highest transfer fee received, eight eight and a half K from McGiff, who again broken contract, train facilities not upgraded, wanted to leave. So yeah, history in the making. Uh, your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch and the feet didn't go and rewarded at our end of season awards ceremony. Except we didn't get what I wanted. Timeline, it's all Erreford. Um I haven't been anywhere else. I'm still not used to this one to be honest. I haven't been anywhere else. Um yeah, we've won the FA Trophy. That's where we're at right this minute. So, um, yeah, good season, but disappointing at the end. So I've lost 4.4k social media followers, which is a bit of a worry. Um, no real change in my main fan base. Um, yeah. Club vision expectation, play defensively solid football. I'm going to negotiate. No, I'm not. Um, I'm happy with that. Uh, work within wage budget. Yeah. Record of our national top half. Reach. No, they're they're actually at last. They're putting a little bit of uh, oomph into it. So next season, top half finish. Uh, I want promotion. I can't spend my entire career down here. Um, I think it would now be good to let players know. So we're going for a top half finish. I'm going to tell them because next time I'm going to be promoted. Oh, I'm pretty sure. And we're trying to get players top half. Might if they're like me, they're going to be disappointed with this. But no, they're not. They're happy. Outstretched arms. That's exactly. Once you return for your holidays, thank you all very much. Have a good summer. Whether I'll be here or not, I don't know. New season team report. See. So anyway, I'm going to go and. Um, move on to the transfers get transfers done out of the way um and then we'll come back and we'll look to see what's happening obviously if there's any updates on the job front we'll pop back i've just had a um, couple of emails one my facilities have been downgraded so the train of facilities have actually gone downhill so i've asked now you know let's get them up to level with with our competitors and again they've rejected it and i feel that that is probably the final nail in the coffin i'm really tempted to do something i've never done and that is um resign from a job to quit and then see what's about at the moment there is not a lot here now you've got to remember that these three teams here, 21st, they maybe stay up, Harrogate. Um, Harrogate and Eastleigh do stay up. Um, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't want to spend all of this saving on league football, which is currently what it looks like I'm going to be doing. But my board are not interested in doing anything other than the national. That would be perfect. That would be dreams come true. Um, there's absolutely no way. That's going to happen. Wow, wow, wow. Out of the blue, um, we've gone fully professional. I'm in shock. I didn't expect it. But that's a step in the right direction. And maybe now, um, I'm not sure when we will go professional, but maybe now that gives us a chance to compete and um, move up. So... Yeah, let's get this transfer window out of the way and see where we're at. And we've had quite an event for a build-up to the new season. We've been a bit busy in the transfer window. 
Um, Harry Williams could finally be leaving on loan um, for the season. Leighton Grant isn't going anywhere. Um, I've had a few injuries, so that, that's gone on. I've had to cancel that one. And we're trying to loan Giuseppe De Luca. So ins and outs. Um, if I go back to the end of last season, uh, we've signed Richard Green on a free from Chelsea. Green Slade you knew about. Uh, we had him on loan, but he, he was, wasn't was worth the bother. Uh, so he's gone back. Um, and we brought Richard Green in, uh, a young attacking midfield right player with some, you know, some good stats there. Of course, we're training full time now, so hopefully we can start to look at developing these players a little bit better. Uh, players out then. Um, Aviro went at the beginning, and Josh Robinson went at the beginning of the last season. Robinson was on loan; he's back with us now. Um, Augustus McGiff, you know, he went uh, sort of just over midway through the season Christian Norton came in on a freebie he's now gone he wasn't any good at all and Matt Dibley Diaz decided it because we didn't upgrade the training facilities he had no wish playing for us anymore so that was fine so transfers out this season Scott Smith's gone for 30k potentially 30k um, to South End, and Dominic rogerson has gone on loan um, to the end of the season um, he's the backup goalkeeper uh, third choice at the minute. He needs to work on his current ability really to get into the club or start challenging for places. So players in. Um, like I said, we've been a bit busy. We've tried to strengthen. Um, Jack Newman, uh, goalkeeper. He's come straight in as uh, backup keeper. Um, Charlie Alvison, first choice goalie. Couldn't resist him really. Um, he was better than anything we had. He's just gone out injured, unfortunately. Uh, I'll go through that now in a second. Then we got Chukwameka. Um, he was a freebie. Brought him in. Um, he's cost me quite a bit on the wage packet, but uh, as you can see, he, he is worth it. Leighton Grant just joined us. Uh, defensive central midfield player again, one for the future. Uh, he, he will be starting the next game by the look of it. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. Ethan Walker, another exciting signing. He's looked very good in pre-season. He really has a um, fast, powerful attacking midfield left player. And then we've got Tyrese Briscoe. Brought him in. He's played one game, got injured. So um, one friendly and he's got injured. But that that's a straight swat. Uh, another Tyrese. He's going to replace Tyrese Onyeka. Um, hopefully this season and smash some goals in for us. So... The medical centre. We've had a bit of bad news uh, over the last couple of weeks. Um, so recently, injuries. McKendy, broken ankle, four to six months. Boyabu, uh, left back, broken ankle, two to three months. Charlie Alberson, first choice goalie, twisted ankle, three to five weeks. And the new signing, Tyrese Briscoe, seven days to two weeks. And Kyle Kelly should be fit. Actually, pulled groin one day, so he should be coming back. Um, finances, we're doing okay. We've got just over a million in the bank now. Um, we're pushing the wage budget this season. Now that we're full-time, there, there's more... Um, players interested in a better calibre player that's coming in to us. So quite happy with how that's going. So for this season, tactics going to stay pretty much the same. Um, I do like the 4-2-4, uh, attacking wide players. So Kelly, I'm hoping he's going to be fit ready, but it may be that he is and it's going to be tomorrow. So we'll um, just bring in Arthur Reed. I've got a couple of players in on um, trial at the moment. Matty Longstaff. Just to cover central midfield, I, I don't have any cover there now, no depth. And Dylan Tate um, as well. We'll see how they go with the trial period. And of course, McKendy was meant to be a starter, but he's injured now. So that's Chukwemen, Kirk comes straight in there, and then we'll drop Richard Green in as well. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, we had quite a good strong side. Um, prediction for the season is, sorry, click the wrong bit. So the prediction for the season was about eighth when I first went into the transfer window this season. Uh, we weren't expected to do a lot and we have dropped. We were up as high as third. Uh, we have now dropped to fifth uh, uh, as other teams have strengthened. None of our play players that I'm aware of or didn't last time I looked, other than right down the bottom, our two centre-halves, um, 
show up. There you go. That's pretty much it for that. So the board this season, they just want us to finish mid-table in the panorama. I think that should be quite comfortable uh, with this team. FA Cup proper, that's what I would like that as well. Obviously, it brings the money in, which then allows us to get better players. And we are the FA Trophy holders, so they want us to be uh, competitive in that and defend our title. Um, we still got to play defensively solid football and play the I-tempo pressive football. I'm happy with the I-tempo. Defensively, obviously, we don't want to let goals in, so that makes sense. Uh, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell for this season. First game's Bromley away, and they're strong favourites. So we're it's not going to be an easy game. Um, but fingers crossed we can get a positive start here. Budgets, we had a 35k transfer budget and 17 and three quarter thousand on the um, wage budget. I'm not sure I've spent any of the, or much of the, transfer budget on players I, I don't buy players or don't tend to at this level um i've just moved most of that a chunk of that into my wages and i'll probably do it again once we start i mean i've got a thousand um left over in it so so once we start pressing that i might put a bit more of the transfer budget in there just to give me a little bit of um wiggle room recent form on grow player update um yeah, a couple of players there. I'd, I've never heard of them, so they can't. Oh, obviously, Reno, we know. Uh, but the other two are there here, but they've never really sh sh um, made any um, impact on the team. And there's a reason why he's not good enough. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We've had a busy close season. The board have finally uh, allowed us to become a professional outfit, so we should be a bit more competitive this season. We've obviously managed to sign a better quality of player from being a professional outfit we can offer them a better wage it, it, it it's just all so much better the training's better um alberson's got a change so that's gonna be that's going to be a, oh he's not fit but it's only in goal so yeah as you can see it's been quite a fun um pre-season players already not fit So yeah, the team today then is going to be a Jerry, a familiar face at the back. Greenidge, Apaya, Ugbungo and Richards across the back four. Um, Richards is in because Boyabu is injured. Greenidge is in simply because he's playing better than Sears at the moment. So we say that goes. Broadbent here last season, Reed was here last season. That's probably not going to be my starting lineup when everybody's fit. But I do need another midfield player or two um, and then you've got Walker and Patterson out wide Walker's a new sign-in so I'm expecting big things from this guy uh, Patterson you know I signed him towards the end of last season he's come in it hit the ground running he's been quite phenomenal for us and then we've got Martin scored the opening goal in the FA Trophy for us last season he's made kept his place with Onyeka leaving and Chukwemeka is playing up front partnering him so yeah let's hope we have a good start we don't want a, a bit of a drum in here we want to be competitive and we want to really set down a marker for the rest of the season so um without further ado let's get on with it and there you go we're playing in red today and what what a difference being a professional outfit's made um you know for me especially it, it gives me a chance to push on to the next step i do however think if we get a chance to move we, we will be taken depending on the team i could be a bit more picky now than what i was probably going to be um through the close season they have offered me a contract we we didn't agree on um a final figure for that so they withdrew and we'll wait and see what happens. I am in the last year. And Chukwemeka picks it up straight away. And 1-0. Took it on the chest. And a volley then straight to the corner. Um, oh, and they've given him offside. So some things don't change. Even if you're professional. Oh, and he is just a step offside, isn't he? But what a play. What a move. You know. And he's he's going to score goals for us this season. Yeah. He should uh, He should do well at this level. I think he, he's... I'm surprised he's not in the Dream 11. Um if I'm honest. So yeah, a bit of a 
Nothing first half so far. Broadbent wins the ball in the midfield. Chukwamenka plays it through to Martin who runs out wide, turns on the ball, lays it back for Richards to run on to. Richard Swivels plays it in the middle and there. Oh, that's wide. I thought Chukwamenka was going to open his account for us then. So yeah, um, quite an even first half, I guess. We've got possession, which I would expect to see us having. But uh, yeah, this is meant to be a tough game, although I haven't seen it yet. Ajiri comes out into his box, nice and strong, claiming the ball there. And a long, flat ball out wide, but nobody's going to get on that. That's just not the game we play, so I don't know why they're still persisting with it. I've got everything on short and distributions on short as well. I have got it on short kick, so I think maybe I'm going to change that to rolling a ball out. Chukwamenka plays it over the bat for Martin to run on to. Martin picks a ball up in the box, plays it over to the far post. Chukwamenka mixed it and Walker blasts it over. That's uh, disappointing, but promising at the same time. So we're approaching half time now and the goalie's going to clear the ball long out wide, but that's going to come straight to one of our players and Richards picks it up. Ugbungbo plays a long ball forward but we're not going to get onto that. Oh in pro oh dear that was just too easy. And that's my pup jumping about so being a bit of a devil he is with me older dog at the minute. Yeah, that was disappointing. He's just run off a centre half there. And yeah, that brings up half time. So strong first half. We've ended it 1 0 down. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes second half. And we just uh, tell him straight what we expect. As we do expect a little bit more than that in a Hereford shirt. Let me kick off a second half, so I'm going to go straight into demanding more, and I am going to go attacking actually, because first game of the season. Let's see how things how things react. Patterson straight in, oh Martin, oh, and he's cleared off his foot on the rebound, out for a corner, and Broad bent with the corner. He's going to cross this in, hopefully to the far post. No, he's gone sort of mid mid goal but nothing there Patterson runs out to catch it he's got the ball he brings it back to Broadbent but he's offside oh dear and yeah this is starting to fizzle out a little bit we're not really dominating like I wanted to see us let's make a change here up here's getting a bit so who's going to be there I'm not going to risk late and grant he's only a youngster and I was open to play him in the midfield. So yeah, I'm going to replace Reed with Grant, and then that leaves us with Reno. And I'm going to bring Reno in. He's actually going to replace Chukwamenko, who's not playing very well at all. But neither is Martin. So, and here we go. Last throw of the dice. Let's see if we can salvage a point from this game here. Or whether it's going to... It looks to me like it's just going to fizzle out 1-0. So a disappointing start to the season. And they're actually on another attack here. Playing it over the back. We've managed to clear that one. But we're not picking up the headers. It's played in behind to Owen. And he's through and it's hit the crossbar. I don't know whether the keeper got a touch on that. I hope they've given a goal kick. So... Yeah, the game is just fizzling out. A bit disappointing. We've got quite a few low stats, which I wasn't expecting to see. If I'm honest, I was expecting us to to really push on here today. Over the top, Chukwamenko plays it down for Reno, who plays it in. He's got in behind, but the pace isn't there, is it? But he's gone long, and it's over the bar. Uh, disappointing. And that's it. So, first game of the season is a 1-0 defeat. Bit of work to do. Um, like I said, on the week building up to this, the injuries didn't help. So, um, let's hope we can uh, turn this around and it isn't sort of a, a marker for the rest of the season. And, yeah, 
I wasn't expected to be 20th after the first game for sure. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you press a little bell, you'll get notifications of when the next game's out in the, in the, in the season. Thank you.